from uh, Billion Dollar Sellers newsletter. And this is uh, one that I put under strong opinion. So we'll see what everybody's thoughts are here. But no honeymoon period. Successful launches require strategy. Amazon's honeymoon, per honeymoon period for new product launches is now considered a myth with recent data showing no guaranteed visibility boost for new items. Instead, Amazon relies on data-driven ranking systems, initially using prediction based on similar products and then updating rankings as real user interaction data accumulates. For sellers, this means focusing on targeted traffic high quality content and ongoing optimization to succeed. The shift to AI driven models and semantic search underscores the need for listings to be relevant and engaging from day one to maximize visibility. And uh, since we haven't had you on in a little while, Corey, let's throw it right over to you to get your initial thoughts. Yeah, so this it's a little outside my area of expertise since I don't do a ton of launching new products, but I do know uh, of the other like really big, really successful private label sellers that I know. I've always heard from them that the honeymoon period is a thing. It was it's always been a thing, but I, I guess maybe the recent change is that it's no longer a thing. And it sounds to me like Amazon's basically saying, "Hey, we're not going to give you increased reach in the beginning. You're just going to have to make better listings, right?" Or, or you know. Uh, write your listing better from an SEO perspective to to then rank. So probably is a good change because it's just going to make it more competitive and make it that much, I guess, make the barrier to entry that much higher. So what what's not clear to me is, is this Amazon announcing this or is this just conjecture from Kevin King? Th this so, is, yeah, go ahead. Conjecture, but it's also from an article published by Dream 100 member Danny McMillan. So Okay, because because um, it's, uh, it's an opinion. That's why I put it under strong opinion rather than. All right, because right, because my hot take is bullshit. Like like I, I, there is no way that the <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> go like straight away. Um, yeah, now it, that doesn't mean that their overarching premise here to have a quality product makes sense, right? But that goes without saying. You could still have a hundred high quality products, but the one guy that understands the honeymoon period and optimizes for it, he's gonna do better than the other 99. It's just, mm -hmm. just point blank, like it's just common sense. If you optimize for CTR, PPC, SEO, design, and have all those things ready, and you don't launch the product until it's checked into FBA, it's gonna sell better. If you don't launch without, a, if, you, if you launch the product without A plus content, it's not gonna do as well as the next guy who has A plus content. Right? So all of these things are structured for optimization uh, and they're not specifically honeymoon period optimization things. They, they just help sales in general. But the guy that shows up and has a higher propensity of sales in a short time period is going to train that algorithm faster. It's just logical. Yeah, for sure. I, and I actually hired uh, and then we'll come or hired uh, highlighted and then we'll come over to you, Dane. And yeah. But it says instead it employs a system that uses prior prediction values based on similar products, historical performance to initially rank new items, and then transitions to a posterior prediction value once real user data starts accumulating. So to me, that sounds like a honeymoon period. Yes. Because they're relying off of other products. So I think the key thing in here, while there is still a honeymoon period, they are saying that it uh, is no longer a fixed 30 day window, I think is one of the, the key things that they're pointing out, that it's more quickly switching over to real world data than anything. Yeah, I could buy that. 100% could buy that. Yeah, so I, I think that the honeymoon period is just changing into more of an algorithmic. I The, the very short version is because I, I, that video there is an hour long. And it's highly technical. I only watched like 10 minutes of it. And I was like, wow, this mm -hmm. is deep in the woods, which personally, that's not my thing. Like, uh, just give me the gloss over the top. And I'll be like, okay, it sounds like this. And if the person says, yes, it's that, like, great, now I understand. So this is like a really, really long version to basically say shit's changing. And it's going to, but like Steve, Steven said, it's still going to rely upon, just like your honeymoon period does, rely upon having a well-built listing, well-researched, all that good stuff, A-plus content, all the keywords, la, 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 all that stuff done right in the beginning when you launch. So even if there's no honeymoon period any longer, all it means is that you're going to have 
worse algorithmic placement due to having a worse listing or better mm -hmm. algorithmic placement do and all that stuff and it's it all relies upon the same thing as the honeymoon period which is having a good listing right but like I, bottom I, line the fundamentals don't change right yeah mm -hmm. yeah i too would rather talk to the taxi cab driver than the statistician like yeah you know, yeah screw screw statistics Let's talk to the taxi cab drivers about Says how to sell the name. guy with all the statistics up in his <laughs> freshly haired head there. <laughs> Just got back from uh, Istanbul, Turkey, uh, brutal hair transplant seven days ago. I uh, look like a chia <laughs> seed pet right now for those that are wondering. <clears throat> but but yeah, let, let's assume that these guys were right for just a brief moment that, sure. that the honeymoon period no longer exists. What would you change what, as an Amazon seller? What behavior would you change? Nothing. And I can't come with much. Thing. I mean, the the only thing that it stands out to me is that it, supposedly it's going to rank you depending on how well a product matches with successful existing items. So perhaps which is you want to tailor yeah. your copy and things to more closely match whatever your competitors are targeting. I, I think know. people do that already. Yeah, I mean, I see it as true. the whole the whole announcement is a moot point, right? Like it doesn't change anything that anybody should be doing. So, I mean, mm -hmm. obviously, it's a, it's something worth discussing because if it's valid, then you know it's worth having a conversation. But in general, again, not going to change the way anybody's doing anything, or at least shouldn't. Yeah, I don't necessarily think it's a moot point so much as it is. Look at all of the information that goes into doing a proper launch. Honeymoon period? No, you cannot put up one image and launch with zero inventory any longer, right? That, that's, that's a very, very detailed explanation of do your work right the first time rather than having to redo it three times, spend three times as five times as long, whatever it is, and then not make as much money because you don't have any velocity because you launched a crappy listing to begin with. But I there and there are definitely Amazon sellers out there. Steven, you know this, uh, that they want every freaking detail about whatever it is that they're doing. Probably 60% of them, made up statistic, by the way, don't take any action whatsoever. They just want all the information. The, re the other 40% are genuine like numbers nerds, which God love them. And I, but that's, that's not this guy, you know? The action dictates the strategy. If if people watch content like what we're putting on today and then they don't take any action, then what was the point? It's just entertainment. And and we're not funny enough to just be entertaining, guys. <laughs> like we have to give you guys something actionable to leave after viewing today's session. And and here's some news. Some of it's going to be important. Others is not. Our job is to de decipher what's actionable. And this one, I'd say no, not actionable.